by them. What we've noticed is, um, you know, when we're at a festival and we're giving out the samples and people think they're just going to be another pickled okra, you know, like their grandma made. And, and they kind of are, but they're different. They're stronger. You don't forget them. And so a lot of times people will see them, they'll take a bite, and then they walk on by and they have to come back. And there's, like, there's just something about them, something about them, you know, and they're, they, we just hear that they're addicting. People get addicted to them. And um, I know friends of mine that eat jars a day. And, yeah, and people around here buy them, you know, from, by the six pack, it's just like you did beer. You know, I'm Angie Tillman, and um, I have Fickles Pickles in Athens, Georgia. And um, Fickles um, came about because my husband's name is Finn with PH, and so it was pretty easy to come up with a name for our product. Um, we do pickled okra and green beans and jalapenos and green tomatoes, good pickles that you would find in a really good Bloody Mary. Actually, my husband, when he was young, went over to a friend's house um, all the time, and they always had this jar of pickled green tomatoes in the refrigerator, and they would dare each other, you know, he's going to eat them, eat them, eat them, you know, try one, and he tried one, and, and he started eating all of them every time he came over, so finally, they gave him the recipe, and um, it's Mr. Marbot that lives here, Richard Marbot. It was his grandma's recipe, I believe, and he gave it to Finn, and he started making his own as a child. And so right out of college, he just really, and he started making them all the time for all his friends and just became, when I met him, they were in his refrigerator. We don't do cucumbers very often. We only do those for festivals and just when we get them in season from around here. So um, I don't know if we'll eventually do a cucumber, but I have a feeling that if we ever did, it would have to be different. It wouldn't be you know, cut in a circle or a spear. I think we do maybe some little, those little baby deals or something. Or, um, <laughs> I don't think, you know, somebody else can do that. Read the labels. You know, if you see on a jar that it says packaged for Fickles Pickles, which you will never see, it's not made by Fickles Pickles. It's not made by Ben and Angie Tillman. It's made by some big co-packer that could be off in Texas somewhere. Um, and is that a pretty standard industry practice? Yes. In the pickle industry, is yeah. Co-packing, what we're running into all the time, and they're doing private labels for everybody. Now you walk in and you see all these cute little stores have their own pickle already. And so when we're trying to sell to them, we're like trying to make them understand, well, pickles is different. It's, we're, we are pickles. We're not salespeople. We are the ones who make them, and we're the ones that deliver them. And you know, we'll come and set up a little stand and give out snacks. You know, once every off, so often at your place. Um, and that's my take on it, on knowing where your food comes from. I don't know a whole lot about, you know, all the stuff in the grocery store, but as far as the pickles go, and I'm learning a lot about that kind of thing, jarred things, bottled things that, um, yeah, I didn't know about the yeah, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with the co-packers, but if you really want to support a lo your local mom and pop, southern, you know, people that, that grew up doing this sort of thing and know how to do it and have a love for it, then you need to read the label and pay a couple of dollars extra, you know, so it's worth it. I'm very thankful for people that, that like to support a local, you know, they like the story, you know, they heard we started on Facebook and people pick them up from the porch and she delivers, you know, pickles to people's houses. We really do that, you know, my kids love it, you know, ringing the doorbell and saying pickle delivery. Um, and the people that have to have them every week crack me up, but they keep us going, and um, so it's been a lot of fun.